Well, hello from the side of the road in Castilleon. And welcome to another Bacchanal Michelin restaurant fuel day trip. We're off to a legendary winery, Mi Roque and Josue, uh, my Madrid and Darico partners. And we're going to go to a winery called Pago de Carrovejas, but also eat in their Michelin star restaurant, Ambibium. This is going to be amazing. And I cannot 100% say I'm going to be not a bit tipsy in the afternoon. First we have a visit of the winery and then we're gonna drink and eat. Nice. Just having our visit, it's a very impressive location I have to say. I'm getting thirsty. This is their top wines plot. bigger and more it's the most pristine clean winery we've ever seen it's quite impressive Quite an amazing meal, to be honest. Um, I didn't really talk much about the dishes while we were having them, so I'll put a lovely montage. First up, a stroll through the laboratory kitchen combo with cured vegetable creations made with carrots and aubergines like you've never, ever tasted. Then red tuna cooked over ash and a smoked manzanilla sherry cocktail served with the most absurd aged anchovy tartlets. A cocido soup and ropa vieja fritter then led us to our table, where the wine pairings also started. Era una ostra, una ostra con escabeche sí. y, y caviar de setas. Sí. Vamos a ver. Mm. Then a fat prawn served with smoked carrot and Jerusalem artichoke creams. Oh. Mm. <laughs> wow. Milk cap mushrooms and trotted stew was followed by fallow deer loin served with horn of plenty stroganoff. Dessert was an ice-cold basil and lemon puck, followed by caramelized, oxidized bananas. Ooh, it's creamy. Ooh, caviar pisco.
We're now walking through the Golden Hour Lit Vineyards off to our evening residence in Coriel del Duero. Probably to carry on drinking. Can I stay a bit longer? Stay for a bit. We've arrived at Curia del Duero, it's a little place, like our dos. Let's do have a check-in now. Our house for the evening. Ooh. our day in the mythical Pueblo, the small places where you think, oh my god, this is amazing to escape the capital for a couple of days, hours, whatever, and you sort of think, imagine living here, and then you start going, okay, let's get back to the capital, but there's, you know, a peaceful charm, but it's mostly populated by little hotels and and rundown buildings. We're going to see this one bar, maybe, have a drink, uh, check out the churches, and that's it. As always in these little pueblos, there's always a view, there's always an old wall, there's always a church. And look, I've got everything I need right in front of me. And I've lost my business partners. Dr. Vanish. It's a fine and fresh morning. I don't think we all feel particularly fine and fresh. But uh, yeah, I think the plan now is to leave our little hotel in Curiel del Duero and maybe hopefully get some breakfast in Peña Fiel, which is itself one of the capitals or prepare it out with a wine region. Because there's no bars here open this time. Peña Fiel is one of the towns that form part of the Golden Mile, which is where you find most of the legendary wineries, other towns like Pesquera as well. Um, it's not mega prosperous looking, it's like a normal little work a day place, but it has a very famous square, which is where I'm running to now.
Oh, back home. I hope you enjoyed the food and the um, yummy wines and the general bacchanalia. Uh, not much more to add, really. Just, uh, yes, yeah, an amazing part of the country. Um, I need to go on a diet. So, yeah, hit the buttons, liking, subscribing, all that stuff if you can. And if not, don't worry about it. And uh, see you on the next one.